Okay, so um, it's six o'clock. I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, and I have one adjustment to the agenda. The listers um, have a letter to us um, asking for an extension um, for the time um, for the 2019 grand list. Um, and I'm guessing that this is a regular thing because it always was before. It's was pretty, like, pretty, pretty regular. Yeah, they always yeah. ask for extensions. So. Um, and I guess the, actually, why don't, why don't we deal with it right now? Um, so, there, and it's pretty much the same reason that was mentioned before. They're asking for an extension to August 4th, um, 2019. Um, and the reason that they're asking is that, um, as they've stated here, our remaining visits are to summer camps or homes where work has been done and the non-residents have not been responding to phone calls. So we would like this extension to be sure we can catch up with these people as they arrive at their summer homes or camps and have, would have time for the grievance process. So, um, so they're asking for an extension to August 4th. Um, everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, please for us all to sign. It doesn't really affect our tax bill date, does it, anyway? No. no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> next time, the next one will. <laughs> yeah, if we get another one of these, it could be getting closer. But Exacerbate our yeah. don't have any cash problem. <laughs> <laughs> Comment. Griffin, you got anything? You got anything you want to say? Laura? <laughs> okay. Statements um, of outrage. And then um, we are able to approve the bills to the town, and we also won't be having a town treasurer report. Um, Brandy has a family emergency that she's dealing with. Um, <laughs> so uh, we'll do that at a, a different day. Yeah. Um, Let's see, have you guys had a chance to look at the minutes? Actually, Brian, it would be you and I um, from the end of May. I read them. Yep. You read them too? Okay, good. Yeah, I, think good. They're, I think they're in your pile right there. there. So I would make a motion that we approve the minutes. Oh, wait. Uh, that would be June 10th. This is, the agenda is incorrect. I forgot to change the date. Nobody picked up on it. No, it nobody did. All our fault. Yeah. I hope we're still legal. Yeah. <laughs> Get the court with that one and they go, really? Right. <laughs> okay. Just one here. page or is that? Uh, should be two. <coughs> one of those two? No. <coughs> there it is. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. You, want, you can hang on. To, you can hang on to it for the notes if you want. We just got to make yeah, sure we transfer them over to something else. We need to give it to um, <coughs> Diana. So this is the twenty fourth of June. June just a Wi Fi number. So, Diana, yes. we are ready for the town clerk. Didn't hear a crash at the end of that. The animal, yeah. Animal um, so I know Kim talked to you. I've talked to Kim also. He yeah. read this. He said it's pretty much what they yeah. send every year. He was fine with it without any okay. changes. So yeah, instead so of charging us five hundred dollars a year like they did for a long time, they just charge per animal. Um, animal brought in. And last year we just got the bill, and it was like less than a couple hundred dollars. I think there was one dog and one cat. Mm -hmm. So would Kim? Be the town? No. no? Okay, so then I guess as the chair would be me. All right. Yeah. Okay, 
So I'm good with this. Kim's okay with it. Um, They'll also want to know, they usually ask who the animal control officer is. Mm -hmm. Do you want to write that on here? Do you want me to write it on? I can do that. Okay. So there's that. Is this um, sheriff's thing? Did I hear you mention? Did that ever yeah, come that's back? on the agenda. Did it ever come back? Yeah, I think we, I think you, you know, No, I don't think we... Oh, okay. We've seen it. You, I remember an email from you to have it oh, on okay. the agenda. All right. Okay. So, is this the proper time? Do you want to do mm -hmm. that? Sure. Okay. So, let me just see what they're. I think in the cover letter he mentioned that their hourly rate is going up a little bit. Okay. Fee shall be twenty nine twenty five per hour, and we'll cover all related expenses for the hourly wage of the deputy, including workman's comp, on blah blah blah. Um, overtime and holiday rate will be invoiced at forty three point eight eight cents per hour, and the mileage charge is point six two five. I think is what it has been. Um, this is for the fiscal year, new fiscal year coming up. Um, okay, so the department furnishes deputies for um, blank hours of per week. I know they never have furnished what we request. They can't really estimate. They, they, right. they called us and said, ask us to fill in the amount that was budgeted. So Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm going to put a question mark for the hours. Yeah, as many as you can. Right. Yeah, $5,000 worth. Which is usually about four a month, right. unfortunately. But. So, um, anybody else want to just quickly look at this? Well, yeah, just check it over. It's pretty much the same as it has been. Mm -hmm. So, it basically, sets the hourly rate. Sets the hourly rate, um, mm -hmm. mileage rate, uh, yep. and holiday overtime, which you know that hardly ever happens here. Um, you ever see the sheriff's department without any fire? Uh, uh, occasionally, if they're here, they will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, it's nice. I would like. To, I'd like to have them around more. But yeah. Well, that's. We originally requested more hours, <clears throat> and we actually uh, upped the budget. Right. right. Explain that. Somebody said we've got more time to yeah. pay for than they ever bill us for. So it's, we've tried. I don't know what you're supposed to do. And yeah. we we did contact them. Um, Few years, a couple of years ago, couldn't we, because it was obvious that they weren't, you know, meeting the hours that we had requested. Um, and the, the um, Sam yeah. Hill, the uh, yeah. head sheriff, just said that they don't have the manpower. Right. They have they're having a hard time mm -hmm. getting people to, mm -hmm. to do this. So, so yeah, yeah, one year they have to budget to seventy five hundred, and they right. didn't even spend it. Didn't even spend it. Yeah. yeah, we were hoping that maybe they could be out on county road yeah, or yeah. somewhere. Yeah. 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 So, um, so sign both copies they, and then they'll, they'll sign oh, and both send copies. them back. Okay, all right. So 24th of June. So yeah, we just get what we can on this as far as this contract. Mm -hmm. so. They do occasionally serve summons for, not summons, but whatever, you know, if there's something that needs to be officially given to someone, mm. they'll do that for us. Right, well, I'm signed copy. I did see that one. I did, I think I dated them both. There's an election tomorrow, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna. Brandy won't be here, so I and Laura has to work at her other job or go to school or something. She's, so <laughs> she doesn't do Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So I will probably put up a note that the office might open a little later, <coughs> so as long as the ballot clerks show up at 
before nine and mm -hmm. get things in order. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I could say they, they could maybe call me. I don't know. Arlene has a cell phone. Right? Mm -hmm. Perception down there. At the, the yeah, village. she can log on to the fire department yeah. and stuff. So if they have any questions, they can mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. She's going to be on the nine to twelve tomorrow. And uh, then in the evening, it's going to be a little complicated. Mm -hmm. There are three articles on the uh, pink ballot, which are the ones that get caught, uh, get counted in the here, town. Here, yeah. And so I've got um, Alberta from Hard <coughs> made up a chart, you know, like a tally sheet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Mary, Jim, Jimmy, and Jane, and old Lorendo are going to stay here and count those. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have to find some uh, Board of Civil Authority members to go to Hardwick because that's going to be a little more complicated. There are five questions mm -hmm. on that ballot. Mm -hmm. So Patrick is going to go and I'm going to go and if anybody else wants to go, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not going to be just turn around and come back in a half an hour like we usually do. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be a little so, longer. <laughs> so the, the ballots that need to be counted in Hardwick uh, they need to be counted once they're right. in hard work. Time. Right, right. They have to be commingled first and then counted. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you have a time frame? What time that's going to, the ballots close at 7? Yeah, and then I don't know. I have no idea how many people are going to vote. Uh -huh. Maybe not too many. Right. I mean, I could, I'd be willing to do that. Are you sure? Yep. We do everything I'm else. call so I can't commit oh, anything. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try to get out there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what time should we? As well, show up at seven o'clock at the town hall and the town hall and Hardwick. Yeah, no, okay. this one. Here. Oh, okay. And then we'll carry the ballots out there. Okay. And co mingle them. Yeah, yes. Right. Mm, sounds yeah. Exciting. So I had to go down and I had to go buy some more um, padlocks today because I need two ballot boxes. And one of them Randy had borrowed for her event for <laughs> party. Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't think I was going to get that back, so I went and bought a new pad, a couple of new padlocks. Mm -hmm. But then Michaela showed up at, <coughs> at the town hall and returned the ballot box. Okay. So now we have two extra padlocks. Oh, that's good. That's okay. Yes, you shouldn't have to scramble around for something mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we showed up in at, in Hardwick and the, the box was unlocked, we'd probably I don't know. Throw out the whole election. They probably would. That's probably what they would have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Officially. Okay, so. Or at least I would very probably. Mm. We'd have to mm. redo it another day. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Not what you call me, the little one. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good luck picking those out. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, call me, little one. Okay, they... what else? Let <coughs> me bring my agenda. Um, just. Anything new with the store? I guess that's the other part that we usually. Hmm. No, I did uh, email <coughs> get an email from Laura, and I said, you know, please, aren't there? Isn't there any progress? And she said something about some administrative something. Mm -hmm. yeah, Chris is getting pretty frustrated that. This has all got to kind of wait to clean out the brook until after the buildings. Yeah, this we flooded. He flooded again. He, this yeah, last flooded week. again. Oh, oh really? He, he has permission to move the. You know, if he wants to move some of those stones that are, you know, between uh, the co culvert okay. and up, the, just up above, we're behind Ronnie's. He took me aside and showed me a bunch of the stones have fallen in there. So he's going to have work to do. He's going to do. Mm -hmm. but Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah. was talking to me about coordinating that when we fix the bank. Up mm -hmm. above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. He wants to know. Happen. Yeah, that's why I told him. I said we don't have a time frame for that right now. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Have you heard go, anything on that yet? No. If you I go said, behind this shop there, the, the <coughs> stones have all fallen in the brook and you can't okay. walk behind well, the building yeah. anymore. Oh, a lot of the ones that were pushed up, the, the granite that he had behind his building. Yeah, and a lot of it's down behind down Chris's, behind on, Chris's on the other yeah. side of the brook, too. Yeah. The same thing, yeah. that bank is kind of rip rap. All oh, those really? stones have gone through yeah. the culvert and so, down behind So, with that downpour oh. last Thursday, oh. did Chris get flooded again? Yeah. <coughs> that, that's wow. surprising. Yeah, yeah it's, mm. it's, he did. The brook is so full, you know, so that there's it doesn't take about three inches of water and it's Running around his property mm -hmm. again. Yeah. So yeah, we, are we allowed to go in there and pull that stuff? I out? The town has a perpetual easement on to go back there. It was signed years ago by Bro. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, and uh, Doug Aronson and yep. Bailey, I guess. Yeah, it's on the title. It's on the deed to the Blue House. Yeah, yeah. yeah. saying that uh, 
the town has the right to go in there and do flood control measures, but we shouldn't have to. I mean, we should be redoing yeah. the whole thing within months. Does our right? excavator have a thumb on it? Uh, I'm not sure what a thumb is. Well, where they can grab something. I don't think so. I don't think they have it. They can go in and pick out the... Right. But we do, we do have um, permission from Jaron Board to, you know, as long as it's not greater than 10 cubic yards, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's not. It's not going to be right. on, not on paper. <laughs> and I went and looked at it, you know, a lot of the stones are, you know, you could just get in there with a good pair of boots or whatever yeah. and just pick them up and throw them to the side so there is at least a... But there's a lot of it. Yeah. There is a lot of it, yeah. The brook is filled up. Yeah, it's filled yeah. up. It is it's filled up. full. It, it has been a problem be this year. We've been flooded twice at the mm -hmm. firehouse. And yeah. It almost mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's just this spring, it's been really wet. That's mm -hmm. probably the reason. And yeah. the other thing is, what do you do with it when you dredge it out of the brook? Where do you put it? Right. You put it in the park? Mm -hmm. You put it in these back We probably mm -hmm. have to haul it away. Got to haul it somewhere. I just wonder if they had a thumb on that excavator, they could get in there and pull some of that stuff out. I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, I can check and see. I've never seen, the only thing I've ever seen on that excavator is a bucket. That yeah, bucket. You know what it is, a little arm that comes down where you can right. reach in and grab some of those big uh, stones. Yeah, yeah, like a like mm. pincher kind of thing. Yeah. 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 It'd be nice yeah. if they could get in across the park on the mm -hmm. very back of that because mm -hmm. then they could access probably three quarters of what yeah. needs to be cleaned out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Turn it around, dump it into a dump truck mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. rid of it. But yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> that would help some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We we got about three. I had you know we keep a semi-official rain gauge for um, um, lake monitoring program and about three inches of rain in about three hours. There's that's what it came down. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of rain. Yeah. Oh. When was that last week? Last, last Thursday. Thursday. Really? Thursday yeah. afternoon. Oh man. Wow. Oh. I, I you know, drove down to Barrie. I had to, you know, watch. The, you know how the pavement gets worn where people drive. Yeah, right. yeah. There was water running down the little channels That's from the right. tires. I had a doctor's appointment, and I turned around when I got to Bragg Farm. I said, this "I'm going to go see my mother too." And I said, "My mother wouldn't want me driving." In this I, I had my wipers going as fast as I thought I was going <laughs> yeah. about 30 miles. <laughs> like and then the truck coming the, the other way. It come down. It just, no. you just yeah. kept going harder and harder and harder. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So if he can find an excavator, it's okay to dig it out? Yeah, if you had an excavator with a thumb, yeah, if you've got the I permission to do it. I think so. I, I could send you the, the email again. I, um, I had it That's with That's amazing. Your fear is all of a sudden you're in there and the state the comes on and finds you $10,000. Right. I, you know, I had it at the last meeting. I took it out to, to tonight. It's on my table over at the house. But I think it was 10 cubic mm. yards as long as it wasn't But then he had to that. pay for it himself. Yeah, he'd have to pay for it himself. Yeah. But if he waits, I mean, if it doesn't happen again for two yeah, months. If it stops having a gully washers. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We yeah. could try to include it in whatever, you know, this project and restoring the bank. I did oh, go look at that bank after Thursday's mm -hmm. rain, and um, it didn't wash out from the brook, but water coming off the pavement has washed more of the gravel away. Right. And it's starting to show where the ledge is underneath there. Yeah, I can see it, the ledge. It didn't undermine the pavement. Still so hasn't gone under the road, has it? No. No, it's pretty much still straight down. Straight down, yeah. But you could it's tell amazing. just by the channels that the erosion this time on that opening um, was from the water coming off. The yeah, running it down, because once yeah. it has a place to go, it'll start eating it out. Yeah. So mm. That's on the upper one? Yeah, the other yeah. one. I didn't. I didn't look at the lower one. So our waiting there is waiting for the state to. Waiting for this. Somebody came and looked at it. They're doing some kind of report. I do have a um, an application into VTrans for the VTrans Town Highway Emergency Grant. I sent that to Shauna. Um, so, so it's good that we didn't use our VTrans money on something else, or was that other? Money that would have been a separate. Paving. That would have oh, okay. been only for paving. That's a okay. whole separate. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so I, I sent in the application, it was an application letter um, that I sent in, um, and she acknowledged that she sent the letter, she said she was working on the letter, um, I sent, and I sent two emails kind of asking her if she's heard anything from the people that came mm -hmm. and looked at it, and she said she hasn't yet. There may be, I sent a... Um, Another email this morning, um, and I, you know, working this afternoon, I, I got home just in time to have a sandwich and a cup of tea, so I didn't open up my computer. There might, there might be a response from her, from the letter that I sent this morning. But I'm pretty sure that we'll qualify for um, a grant, and 
hopefully get it figured out before fall. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. We'll yeah. be doing the store and the bank project in November. Right. <laughs> so what, you know, what she's waiting for is, is their report on the recommended fix for that spot, and then also an estimate of what it's going to cost. Um, and then we do, I did mention in the letter, the paving in the village, um, a couple of culverts that got plugged um, right. with wood debris and, and overran. So, um, and we could, you know, I didn't mention the stream, um, but that the damage, you know, the stuff that's in the stream was washed down from, from above. From yeah, above. from that washout. Yeah. So, um, um, it so it should qualify then because it is directly a result of... Yeah, it should, yeah. Yeah, I just didn't think of it. Um, you know, it's not like actual physical damage, it's more, you know, um, the brook is filled up with rock and it's causing the, mm. the brook to flood really easily. Yeah. yeah, if you had permission, you could probably have Chuck go over there and do some it's of true. it at least. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Big stuff out. Yeah. Get the big stuff out, yeah. pull it off to the side at least, so the water. Mm -hmm. Take it back. He said, like he said, it's so full, you know, the gravel like come yeah. up like this, so now it's this much to the top of mm -hmm. the stream bank, just normally, and there's a lot of material in there mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you figure that just the gravel that came down from that bank, plus yeah. whatever else was coming down the brook. Is it the kind of of stuff that will be used for riprap when we do the? Stream restoration eventually, you think? It's, it's, it's well, what I saw was more like 16 inch Whoa. kind Ground of clean stone, clean round or cubic. Yeah, you know. yeah. yeah. yeah it's a lot of rock, yeah. a lot of stuff in there. It's, yeah. I saw the same, we went over and looked at it when it was going to flood there. There's yeah. a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it wouldn't really have worked very good for rip wrap, I don't think. Yeah. But it would be a good fill somewhere. I mean, it'd be yeah. great if we could fill, fill the whole at the store. Yeah. 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 yeah, the town wanted to take it out and save it, they could mm -hmm. take it out and just yeah. move it around to the other side of the store. <laughs> yep, maybe dump it out where the tanks used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> I should get my wheelbarrow moving again here. <laughs> I need a big wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Oh, Peter cleared out a culvert off the clock on Thursday coming home. On right. County Road where they fixed he that mentioned day. that to me, yeah. <laughs> where they fixed the road. Yep. It was starting to go over the road again. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So he happened to see it and was already soaked from working outside on the road. Myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, had been, he had been working on a roof all afternoon in that downpour. Mm. He was on his way home. Wow. Yeah, that, yeah that's mm. something I wanted to talk about. Uh, we're having trouble just with, ro uh, with forest debris from um, the, the brooks that run into the culverts. Yeah, I've been um, seeing it. Yeah, I mean, the I lakes can, are full of it too. They're all sticks, and I went yeah. swimming yesterday. I stopped by all to check out the, um, you know, the the Falls County Road Greenwood Lake culvert. Cause I was coming back from Hardwick, I think, and I, you know, I like, usually like to drive the back road back home, and mm -hmm. I just stop and take a look at it, and it was all. Um, Pretty much covered over with branches again, probably from the yep. rain that we had on Thursday. We keep so. getting those gully washes just loosening yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And what and it does is it trees. picks up dead wood. You know, who knows how far down the brook it's coming mm -hmm. from, um, and then it gets at the culvert. And, yeah. and that and was the, the same thing. The fire and tracing trees on the power lines. It's been six or seven of those. Yeah, and that's the same thing that Peter saw at that, that other culvert over. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of, uh, well, that's good that he stopped and did that. Okay. Yeah. Driving by. Yeah. Well, he knew he was going to be working the next day, and he said there's going to be damage other places, so yeah. if yeah. I can stop it before it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think okay. you're done with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
It's pretty much boilerplate conflict of interest. Yeah, pretty standard so, stuff. Yeah, yeah, nothing, um, and there's nothing that really jumped out at me. Um, Laura has gone through it and and put in the town of Woodbury in the it's appropriate spot. It's been vetted spots. by the VLCT. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this that's is the, that's everything they did. Yeah, this is their, just, their template. Yeah. So once we sign off on this, every town employee gets a copy. No, this is this is more for elected and appointed officials. Right. We have we have a conflict of interest policy in the personnel policy for town employees. For town employees and we have used it in the past. I mean, there are different parts that are in the personnel policy that like the sexual harassment part of the personnel policy, we have, um, you know, copied that and sent it to everybody who was appointed um, or elected in town. Um, but this is basically designed for elected and appointed, um, statutorily appointed um, officials in, in the town. And when I read this too, I read through the BLCP handbook stuff mm -hmm. on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still there's no remedy if you had an elected town official because right. there is. I'm just having this conversation. All of us are elected town officials. Mm -hmm. Randy's elected. <coughs> Diane's elected. None of us have oversight over the other. Right. Right. So you you know Brian violates it. All I can do is bring it up at the next town meeting yeah. and say, well, Brian, you know whatever he did or whatever yeah. Paul did. Should do this. Yeah. Right. So it just it, to me it's a it's a behavior that we're agreeing to abide by it yeah. gives us a basis for when someone walks in like Michael and accuses someone of a conflict potentially you know sometimes they're obvious sometimes they're not so obvious yeah in, in section um, 11 the enforcement um, you know there really isn't there's not much you can do is much what I read because yeah, again any elected town officials only only overseen by the people who elected them. Yeah, right. Basically, about the only thing you could do is request that they resign. Yeah, and they could say, heck with it. We went yeah. through this, and what town was it? Co was it Coventry? The town clerk refused to resign. Yeah. Right. And they had a battle going on for four or five years and yep. went to court and everything, and they said, no, nope. yep. if you don't want to get done, then we, 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 until re-election time. Yeah, yeah, we went through this with our former zoning administrator, and we, uh, you know, basically we had to, um, that was quite a process. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I think midstream in that one. Yep. And that was an appointed official. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and um, the Zoning Administrator and the Zoning Board of Adjustment have special um, um, s special uh, statutory um, procedure for um, removing them. Um, the town had to basically prove just cause. Mm -hmm. And as far as appointed officials, um, I don't know if we can. Um, it also gives you a list of incompatible offices too, yeah, yeah. which we have any organization should have. So you know, you don't yeah. put someone in the spot. That, that I stuck on the end of the policy yeah. because I knew that yeah. we had that. And well, it makes sense. It comes from the SEC. Yeah, the yeah. fire department bylaws, we have incompatible offices. You can't have someone who can approve mm -hmm. an expense writing a check, right. for example. Right. Yeah. Check can't be married to the prover and the writer can't be married to each of those type of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So does this sound okay or any, any objections at all or anything that we we would want to add? Um, we you know it says by July 1st but if, if there is some changes that we would like to make or um, you know we can we don't have to do it tonight. Um, yeah, I don't have any problems with okay. it. Okay. Right. I'd like to have something. Yeah. I mean, now we, now we were. Um, well, it gives us a guide if you're looking at doing something. Is this ethical or not? Yeah. So here, here's the part that I was thinking with the zoning administrator. It's under Article A and Section B. Um, the failure of an appointed public officer to recuse himself or herself in spite of a conflict of interest whether real or perceived may be grounds for discipline or removal from right. office. Certain appointed public officers, such as a zoning administrator and members of the Zoning Board of Adjustment or Development Review Board, um, may only be removed for cause and after being afforded with procedural due process protections, including notice and a reasonable opportunity to be heard, which is what we went through. Yeah. And I can see why that, because having worked in New Hampshire as a code official, mm -hmm. uh, we were beholden to the select board in that town. The fire chief was the fire inspector, because yeah. it was done by town. And stuff like that went on. They'd just say, well, that's selectman so-and-so's house or store. You can't inspect there. 
And so what they would do is if they went ahead and did it, that's why that's in there. Say, so I'll fire the yeah. the, the inspector. Well, you can't fire the inspector because it has to go to court. Right. That's why I think those positions are the way they are. Because yeah. there, there's a t there's a plenty of ground for someone to exercise undue influence and then try to get rid of someone who didn't obey. Yeah. Okay, so there is, um, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm reading section 11 again. Uh, there are four things that the select board can do. I think there is a conflict of interest. Um, yeah, but in part four of um, part A, it says, upon majority vote in an open meeting, the Woodbury Select Board may request, but not order, that the offending public officer resign from his or her office. And then part B, um, enforcement against appointed officers. Um, the Woodbury Select Board may choose to follow any of the steps articulated in Article 11A. In addition to or in lieu of any of those steps, the Woodbury Select Board may choose to remove an appointed officer from office subject to state right, they'd law. Have to follow the We'd have to follow the, the proper... So your appointed <laughs> ones, you're doing the hearing. Your elected ones, you just would have to, you have to make it aware to meet a town yeah. meeting if they're being re-elected. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to hold, again go look at the cover to that. That was a horrible for mm -hmm. those people. Yep. Because you find them. She wouldn't like, show them the papers. When, when they refused to turn over the budget, refused to. Yeah. Well, this went on in court forever, and it just kept coming down. She's elected. Yeah. You would think if it was an elected official, um, that there would be a process where maybe you held a special town meeting. Um, you could, I suppose. It, it doesn't, I don't know if it doesn't matter. Well, sure what was they going, didn't, well, what I, was going on is they would, she'd get reelected every year. Yeah. Yeah. Every, <laughs> every, whatever the term so, was, so you're just nothing you could do. And then yeah. it, you'd have to show, in order to do something legal, you'd have to show that there was, there was some a small law town, broken. Yeah. Real small town. Yeah. So there wasn't a lot of voters and she had some. They liked the person. Enough, well, yeah. yeah. Because you, these things happen, or you get a, a turf war or a pers personal conflict. And so sometimes you go, oh, they just don't like each other, so I'm going to vote them back in. I'm not going to listen to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. Um, Changing the locks on the door was a work. <laughs> so yeah. do we feel that this is um, appropriate to adopt this um, this evening? Well, I know for what we do in our thing is it's mm -hmm. some, some policy we usually let review for a month. Okay. Or one we can cycle. Do that. So. Just so you got to, I didn't read, I'm not opposed to the policy, it's just okay. sometimes it's good practice just to let everybody see All right. it, wait let, for the next meeting and vote let's on Let's sit it. on it, it'll be on the agenda for Yeah, the I think that's what meeting. I would propose. Okay. Just because I haven't read every word. I just okay, right, and I, I have to admit And again, it's uh, policy, we could change it right. at any time we want right. to. Yeah. I, that'd be my recommendation. Okay, <clears throat> let's, let's go with that recommendation. So that would be seven. Just next meeting, yeah, whatever that is. Seven. seven Nine. Eight, uh, uh, no, eight. Oh, it's Monday. Oh, Monday, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of a different meeting. You have two so seven meetings like me. Right. <laughs> okay. So we'll. Because I'm good at it. I'll finish reading yeah, through so it. Yeah, so think about it. I like you. I kind of glazed it over and it looks right. good. But yeah. Yeah, I, I read it quickly and so oh, this is all pretty standard. Um, okay, so let's turn to the. The meat of the meeting here really is the town highway report. Um, let's see, I've got a couple of things here. Um, Going over to see Grizz this morning. Yeah. Ah, must be after you I, did. I stopped by too just to before he headed out. Yeah. I see he'd been out and did. He was headed out on the greater for sure. Yeah. I mean, with the storm on um, kind of tore Thursday up. night, the roads got torn up again. Um, and I, I know that Tim and Greg Parkhurst headed out to West Woodbury. Um, there was was it a culvert that did, couldn't handle the water and the road was washed out? They spent a good part of the day. Um, that was today? That was, no, that was Friday. Oh, Friday, okay. Friday. I, I don't know if the road was impassable, but... Um, I know Harry, is that the one where Harry called me on it? Probably, yeah, because uh, Greg Cause, mentioned that you had called him about yeah, it. Yeah, Harry had called me and said that the road was washing out not too far from the town line up, right. so it must have been on a yeah. corner, and he suggested they go up there with some cones, you know, just to warn people. and. I, Greg, think it, I think they called up Greg, and, it, yeah. and he said, first, like, oh, man, i got to come back to Woodbury to get some cones. And then he called me back in five minutes and said, hey, I just remembered, I can go over to the town garage and hire it and grab a couple cones. Yeah. So, so he did, yeah. But he must have, did he go back yeah. out that They night? went back or, up on Friday yeah. to fix it. That was it. Friday, yeah. yeah. And apparently Hardwick was working on the road further down. Yeah. Um, so and then um, 
Peter did some spot grading for different roads that had been gullied. I, I saw Peter go through with a grader. I drove around on quite a few number of roads, just checking out other roads mm -hmm. for them if there were any bad spots. Um, you know, there were spots where the ditches on the side of the road got washed out pretty good. Or um, and yeah, there's a lot of them. spots around. I see Grizz, yeah. like I said, he did. He's, he's yeah, he's on he did in the village today. Yeah, yeah that's he his, did some of some of the Cabot Road. Cabot Road. Um, yeah. Um, Town Farm Road. Town Farm Road. up that today. That's kind of rough. He has yeah. Greenwood yeah. washed out completely again. Yeah. It's bad. Uh -huh. Greenwood. Yeah. Road. Greenwood Lake. Where they got a, the problem. Well, we'll get into on the, the on the corner. No, the, the whole thing because it's all berms, so the water was just running right oh, down. Oh, it, from it, it washed the corner again. County yeah. Road extension. You mean down past yeah. Greenwood Lake? Okay. Well, yeah. It's the whole thing from Greenwood to County is trashed again. Right. I mean, it's not impassable, but there's. Yeah. There's a problem area from Poplar Road down through, because okay. with everybody used to be there were places you could do cutouts, so that put that on Poplar the list. Poplar Road, which? That's just past my mother-in-law's house. Just before you get to the real sharp turn, there's oh, okay. a, it's Between a Wayne's and Yeah, it's my mother-in-law's. Okay. But right there, the water runs out of the driveway, and then it goes right down the road, and then it, it runs across, and then because the berms are there and the ditches are up so high and that the water can't get off the road and it runs all the way down and it goes across by the board. There's a wicked rut right there again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he'll be, be out with the greater tomorrow, you think? Yeah, they'll get the, I would imagine that yeah, there's rain coming. Out, but the the town road. Oh, yeah, probably not, yeah. yeah, probably not Yeah, probably not tomorrow. Rain's coming. Right. Yeah, it hasn't rained yet, but if they, yeah. The thing is, um, if they if they if the road is freshly graded and it rains, then you've got um, basically muddy grease yeah. on top. Which is what I make. I've got this list is what I I've yeah. been doing quite a bit of study, so I had the right mm -hmm. words because yeah. some of our problems that we're having is caused if we could fix mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and that's what I wanted to talk about tonight is how yeah. we direct that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the answer exactly. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would imagine Grizz will be grading quite a bit this. You know, Valley Lake Road, the, you know, the water stayed in the ditch on the side of the road, but um, it did, you know, wash into the side of the road, so. Um, yeah, because that was, did that get graded up and over? Because that was really It has been, it has been graded, yep, it's been graded since, but, you know. It, it washed again. It washed again. Yeah. Shardier Hill, kind of the same way that the water channeled into the ditches, but there was so much water running down that it did wear into the side of the road a little bit. I was talking to Grizz the other day about mm -hmm. those little, Berms that they're putting in the ditches, the dams, the dams. Yeah, the and he dams doesn't, he doesn't like them either for the same yeah. reason because they they plug and then it kicks the water out in the oh, road. Okay. He yeah. says we're better off before without those. Yeah, that's a, keep that's, the water in the ditches. That's one of the things that the that the that's state, state wants. wants you to that's do. That's the best management practice. Yeah, because they yeah. even want you to line a ditch over four percent has to be lined with stone, mm -hmm. yeah. or has to have check dams every fifty feet. But yeah. it's oh, main, well, it's yeah. maintenance heavy. It yeah, is, yeah, and that's what they're saying. Correct. We've got a two-man yeah. crew. We don't have enough mm -hmm. people to maintain all these things mm -hmm. like right. this. So mm -hmm. we're better off not to have them, mm -hmm. and because they're going to fail. Right. You know, it's just they're going to keep failing and they keep failing. Agreed. So get yeah. rid of them. Yeah. And let the water go down the ditches like it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Right. The check dams are just causing yeah, so that when they're going, and we, we shouldn't line so many with stone, which they want. I, again, this is where I'm struggling. It with. has to be a certain slope. Right. Well, it's I don't think stone. it's a law, but it's a best maintenance practice. Yeah. Because we may have to. It isn't a law. You're right, but um, it is what is you know through. We're going to have to use a little more common sense and not just well, this is what they want. This is what we should do. Right. Yeah, this because this some is things a, are this is exactly right. this because I'm struggling right, yeah. with. Um, you know, they put stone in the ditches, and then in two years, it's right. yeah, dig, it dig all that stone out, throw yeah. it away. And that, but that is basically what the state is, re you know, requesting, yeah. requiring. So yeah, it, it's it's. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to pick and choose that the maybe the the slope is right for one thing where you got to do it, but another one isn't sharp enough to have places. to do it. Yeah, well, yeah, these best management practices. There's a certain percent of slope where right. four four percent where. Yeah. Less than four percent, you can grass them. Yeah, and then more. I think more than eight percent or more, the stone is supposed to get bigger, and the check dams. You have is to use to check dams, in. but a lot of those places, I don't think you got to do that. But right. um, that yeah. that segues us back into this is. Right. I, I didn't go place to place, but this is looking at the best management practices, mm -hmm. and then what mm -hmm. I'm not seeing taking place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, which is creating a lot of the problems. Mm -hmm. When you read the the cause of all the problems I noted below. It's caused mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. some of the things we can control, some yeah. of the things we can't control as yeah. much. 
Um, but I know we're not, um, like, like I, I, Greg's not here today, but that when you tell me you take the crown off the road in the wintertime and then you put it back on, that's a bogus practice. I don't know where that came from. You need to maintain yeah. that 4 to 6% crown year maybe, round. Yeah, maybe something that he learned from yeah, Harry. So that there. we need to, so what I'm trying to get at is, we, we, if I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at this, but mm -hmm. I have, we not, need to start addressing these things as mm -hmm. they're grading. Mm -hmm. Because of what I'm seeing, it's it's uh, we're almost to July, and most like my road, they've hit it once with the grader. They came back the other but day, know, but missed it again. And I've got a horrible mess down there that just again not you just using it as, as an example. Yeah. Um, in Greenwood was an example. Just when you've got berms, what happens is the water is washing right down. Yeah. It's going all the way, and it's ending up in the lake mm -hmm. and on uh, Lord's Beach there. Yeah. It's, it's just one example, and I just use it because I'm close to there and I yeah. can see it. I, th I think you know with these major storms that we had, they really haven't um, been able to do any of right. the summer maintenance. Yet. I mean, we had the May twentieth flooding, and, and you know a couple of weeks to kind of catch up with that. And um, right. there has been some messes this year. No, so that I'll give yeah. them. But what I we, want to get yeah. to no, is I, like I, yeah. we need to instruct. Don't you? We we need to maintain this mm -hmm. four to six percent crown. Mm -hmm. Or slope because some roads you just slope to the side, you don't always right. have a crown. Yep. But a four to six percent crown or slope every mm -hmm. time you grade, I don't care if you only grade 50 feet of the road. Yep. Um, yep. The, these are the two biggest ones uh, insufficient crown and secondary ditches. So when I say secondary ditches, they're meaning that's the technical term for the berms. The berms, yep. You know, we've got even when they just did the Crown County Road or the Cabot Road. He got out there a lot further, but right beyond mm -hmm. there, it's still a secondary mm -hmm. ditch. Because mm -hmm. if you go to the edge of the road here, and then you've got mm -hmm. a big berm. Yep. So, this doesn't allow the water to go off. Our, I guess our instruction should be, if there's, I think they got a crown gauge in the grader, mm -hmm. yep. to just tell. Well, I guess that'd be Grizz right now because Grizz not around. But yep. when you're grading, go make sure you've got at least a four percent crown on mm -hmm. the road, and then mm -hmm. he. Again, graders are supposed to, when you get to an intersection, it's supposed to flatten out. When you transition, you've got areas, but most of your roads should achieve that, mm -hmm. that crown. Yeah. And then if he can't pull those ditches, pulling mean pull that Stuff organic out. material out, um, they've got to come up with a plan because mm -hmm. it's bad. Yeah. And those are the calls I'm getting. I'm getting from the usual mm -hmm. suspects, but they're not mm -hmm. wrong is mm -hmm. the issue. Right. Yeah. And I don't want to say, you guys can't do this. I mm -hmm. just want to say if you need training or if there's something that you need to make this happen. Okay. No, we I know that Grizz happen. knows how to do that and, and I know and I know um, Greg Parkhurst does also. Um, I know Harry didn't like to use the grader to clean out the Because really it's the only the ditches, way that it'll but, do it fast enough. Because yeah. there's some places you're going to have to put that grader, because I, I call it healing the ditch, where you put mm -hmm. the moldboard way down in. Your road should have that nice shape to it. Mm -hmm. And we don't have that. And that's right. what's happening is the road's the lowest. And when you plant the grader blade here and then bring the road up, the water hits this mm -hmm. and it just runs right down the edge of the road. Yep. And that's what we're seeing with all the gully washes and washouts. Yep. So it just exacerbates the problems. So you need to move that thing way out into the edge and pull all that material into the road. But it's almost like this year they've been chasing storms. Correct. So that's that's what they've been doing. They right. just haven't had yeah, the haven't opportunity had the to, right. to what do it right. right. The, yeah. the problems have over the last couple of years. So I think, yeah. I think it's up to us to say, this is what we, we start. We need to start from tomorrow on, yep. or month, you know, yeah. that you've got to do it this way. Yeah. Um, you know, because again, using my road, you go where they didn't hit, there's a real big low spot mm -hmm. there, and it, the water just sits there. Mm -hmm. And, and there's, there's, so you have to wash out the environmental, but we're, we're paying for all this gravel that's mm -hmm. washing everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what I think, um, I guess if we showed them this list right. and say, how are you going to address this? Mm -hmm. Does that seem like a... Yeah, just, I mean, I, it's, we can ask how are you going to address can, it or... We can things? correct this or we can write a list of, yeah. I really want to get away from writing a work list, you know what I'm saying? What right. I'm saying is that you need to address all of these yeah. issues. Yeah. You can you go over some of this with Greg in the morning, probably. With Grizz, I can. Yeah. yeah. Grizz, yeah. yeah. And he, I, I mean, I know he knows this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What I want them to say is, we have serious issues with, we need an X to do this because of the yeah. or we need, yeah. we need some help with this. Whatever, because I don't know the answer to that. For me, it's easy to say, oh, just, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm trying to be fair, it's like, just do something, because I know it's, it's just flap your wings, you can fly to Europe, but, right. you know. Because there's you know. times that they're just chasing their tail, Correct. And trying to understood. repair problems, yeah. Yeah. but when they get to their regular maintenance of mm -hmm. this, is 
this is kind of what they need to do. Yeah, because yeah. the top two are the most important. The top, actually, the the secondary ditches and then cleaning uh, cutouts, cleaning yeah. ends of you know. Even if you get out with a shovel, I realize you're not going to be able to go to every culvert every time you grade and pull it out right. with an excavator, but. Right. You know what you got to do is make a path for the water to go in and out. That's you know, what your that, radios for to call the, the other guys back like, at the shop. You got a shovel, get out of the <laughs> shovel. Like you, you had him cleaning. That's what you got to do. Yeah, it's right. just uh, you got to. Yeah, and the culverts have definitely been um, a problem this year. And again, with these heavy, heavy yeah. rain, you know, there's just a lot of material that builds yeah. up in front. Because if you can keep the water flowing through the culvert, it keeps yeah. itself clean. Once the end builds up. Yeah, and the water can't get out. That's when it backs up, and all the leaves and crap get in there. Yeah, and this probably isn't just this year's problem. No, no, this is we're, not just this, this year's, year's problem. We're seeing the tail end of several years, several years of of not getting done, and it attaches yeah. back to when Harry was here, is when this kind of started. And I'm, mm -hmm. my feeling is that probably Greg was taught how to do it this way, but like no, no time should we have no crown on the road. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's going to wear your plow blade funny, and that's just the way it is. I talked to a couple of the road departments because I wanted yeah. to understand. Mm -hmm. What that means is, I don't know, you're going to have a, you're going to wear the... Except for behind plow. Greenwood Lake, probably places like that, you only slope it. You're going to, some lake. of it would slope, um, some of it would slope to the lake, because yeah. that's there's another no place real, for it to go. Right, there's, there's a couple of colors that they know are bad that we're having really yeah. bad washboarding and rutting, you know, caused by water sitting there. Yeah. So they've either got to come in and get those culverts done, or, or they got to... Because what it, what it does when you don't get the water off the road is it just within a few days of mm -hmm. the water sits, right. it just destroys it and you're back maintaining the, maintaining the road again and again and yeah. again. Yeah. And I think it, you know, it's going to take more gravel, and more, more gravel, more time, more hours. Do we have good gravel now? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. All the, all the pits, all the pits are making gravel. I mean, mm -hmm. they definitely, they're, you know, with the different weather events that we've had, um, there are times that everybody, you know, the gravel, they just run out. Yeah. Um, but right. they're all, they're all crushing as fast as they can. And yeah. And I'd like know. to see them pulling as much of, there's a lot of gravel on the edges that I mm -hmm. see just burned well, they up. Do, they, that's they need that's to part of the summer maintenance is using yeah. the grader and pulling that um, gravel. And that's the reason that we like to use gravels winter sand is that there is a lot of uh, fine, fine pet and pebbles. Which and I wrote at nine because that's where that gets mucky because what, yeah. what I'm seeing uh, when I've watched the grading is not enough passes to mix that material. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because watching how they're supposed to grade, you want to have the blade angled where it's going to roll that material and you need to right. go make a few, because what happens, you dump sand all over it in the winter and in the spring you need to come back, pull the gravel up from the bottom and then mix the sand back into yeah. it. And that's, if you don't, you get that muddy, slippery, which is what we've got on top. Yeah, that's that's the summer maintenance work that they do. Like, you know, the grading that they've been doing now is basically just trying to get out the channeling from the heavy rains right. and all. They haven't really gotten into the summer maintenance. And, you know, and with our grader, which, you know, is, as graders go these days, kind of small. Yeah. Um, so it takes them, you know, where it might take uh, Greensboro with the monster grader that they have, you know, one pass to do a particular To go down pass. six or eight inches. Yeah, yeah, you know, it takes probably... I four, remember those days of rip, you know, yeah, when you, 40 you, you had a hard time driving over the windrow when he was digging it out. Yeah, yeah, you, you, see that yeah, yeah you really need to dig. So again, that may segue us into the discussion of planning for a new grader. Oh yeah, we definitely... Here. We def if we had a... You know, and again, it's you know always wanting the better tool. But um, if we had a, a larger, more powerful grader, um, then the time period for doing a stretch of road would be much shorter. Yeah, right. So it and really dig down and get all the ruts yeah, out. Because a yeah. lot of times you're just cutting and filling, which right. you, what has to happen. What reading of road maintenance one on one again is at one point you're going to reshape the road mm -hmm. again. But, Happily in the spring, but it hasn't happened this year, not of their own making, right. which solves a lot of these problems. With our grader, if you try to dig too much, the tires just spin. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta you got to kind of work your way down. So it takes a number of passes. But so that's maybe something we need them or us, I'm not a grader expert, to look at potential candidates and how yeah. this might occur. Cause we've, you know, it all molds into our truck. I know we're making the last yeah. truck payment. Yeah. This summer, and we're going to, might be need to get some of these purchases spread out. So, yeah. you know, we're going to have to buy a truck and then push one of those trucks. I know, I know, Greg. Um, so we're not paying for two or three at once. In Greg, my opinion. Parkhurst occasionally will find a grader, um, you know, on a, <coughs> either a federal government website or 
you, know, you can get a, a pretty good grader without a lot of hours on it um, for about a hundred thousand yeah. um, dollars. So you know it would behoove us to kind of have a plan and within the next few years, um, you know, when one of those graders turns up, um, yeah. to to jump on it and and because um, that that would help a lot having um and this grader is pretty old now. It's a ninety four. So, yeah. <laughs> so probably getting to be um, time. So yeah, a, a new grader is definitely something that. Um, this isn't a four wheel drive either, is it? It is no. no. Yeah. yeah. See that, so it does seem like it may be a wise. Yeah. Purchase. It would help. It would help. Um, this this type of work it would could be done quicker. More miles of road per summer season could be done. Um, like I say, something so, that's heavier, you could do it in less passes. They could get more yeah. miles per day mm -hmm. done. Exactly. Yeah. Because right now they're chasing. Yeah. Because yeah, we board. just want to get the conversation switched to people being pissed off about the road. To mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather happy yeah. look <laughs> towards a new grader than a uh, brush cutter. Yeah. Well, this this actually, I'll talk a little bit more about this when we get there. But um, so I'm. We can get to that. So so. Are you okay with passing this on? Sure. Does nobody object. I'm not trying yes. to be a No, no, I, just, I, I, there's nothing that I disagree with here. Um, this was just pointing out, yep. I've done quite a bit of study and research mm -hmm. what should be happening, mm -hmm. and I think it's our job to direct that yep. in, a, in a polite way to start with, and hopefully yep. all the folks will jump right on and say, this is great. This you is know, the, the grading is one thing. Figuring out a way to keep up with the culverts. You know, this year has been, it seems to be a particularly bad year for culverts and you know just um, um, and I know that's been an issue the, the heavy had, rainfall we, we've had a good culvert maintenance program but this year it's just yeah uh, it's the rains that it's, it's it's the rains and the amount yeah. of sediment um, the, the wood, every year wood we debris a bunch of culverts. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they've been you know culverts you really has been a major to focus the back side of Greenwood yeah because that's bad those mm -hmm. all the way through the corner and all the way down well, the line. I got you know, culverts coming right up through the where the culvert washed out with the um, April 20th flooding um, they had plans to immediately continue down right, County yeah. Road Which towards your place. Rain, right I know and then there was um, what ha something happened on the other end so they had to move the excavator up um, and right now it's up on Scribner Road because uh, there were a couple culverts that got plugged there and, and there was flooding the road. Yeah. So that That's was good. in the uh, that I was can in understand plan. their frustration yeah. of me running my, my yap when yeah. I'm not out there. I get that, so it's not my yeah. intent. It's just yeah. they've probably got 30 culverts on their list. It's, right. it's where, which ones, which ones, which ones yeah. first. Yeah. This one plugs up, so we go do that one mm -hmm. and the next mm -hmm. one right. too. Right. Right. You're putting out fires, as I call it. Right, yeah, putting, out putting out fires. fires. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you know, Grizz was on vacation for a couple of weeks, so he's back. Greg is on vacation now for a week. Um, so you know, the last three weeks have been using our part timers quite a bit. Yeah, and um, then getting both part timers on that grader. Right. Get both of those yep. guys trained to grade. Yeah, Peter's been on it. I don't. I don't think Tim has. Yeah, we want to make sure we spread that to both because yep. you don't want one to person to leave and you've lost your person that knows right. how to grade. You want yeah. to have multiple people that know how to do that stuff. Yeah. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to do it this time when we're behind. Right, right, there, right. There there will be a time yeah. when midsummer yeah, we get right now out Riz should be out there. Training, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it Riz wouldn't hurt my feelings right if he had someone in the truck right behind him, for example, to he did shovel, it. shovel the ends of culverts out. Mm -hmm. I know him and Tim were out together today. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if Tim follows him around and does that or not. Yeah. But yeah, and I, I saw Tim go by the house before I left for work with the bucket loader. I'm not sure he was headed off to do he was something. Headed, he told me he was doing something. He told yeah. me we had a call this afternoon. Okay. So yeah, we were headed this way to do something. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, yeah, it's been a horrible year. It's been a bad. Been awful. I hope the rain yeah. stops and yeah. they can get it. <laughs> but I think if we get them on this, mm -hmm. yeah. Right from now on, as they go forward, it's something to think about. Yeah. Okay. You get on it. Yeah. yeah. And, and while this we're doing this, maybe we should do this here instead yeah. of running off to. Yeah. The yeah. I'm just, what I'm saying is, when you grade this piece mm -hmm. of road, mm -hmm. when you to come over it. to grade it, do it yeah. to this standard. To this. Yeah. Even if it just involves a couple guys with shovels shovel the end of the mm -hmm. cover down. That's mm -hmm. all we yeah. can do right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. I understand it might not be the best, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's what it's, we can do right now. Okay. Pull as much of the ditch. I know they make equipment to you can put on the grader to help pull these ditches and mulch some of that material and I don't know if Greg's looked at any of that it's a I found a mulching attachment that just goes along and it pulls that oh. grass chews it up and spreads it out across the road a lot of it will dry huh. and then you can it'll just blow away huh. 
But I, I can look it up. Okay. Again, because some of this is going to have to be mechanized or <laughs> we're going to get yeah. it done. Mm -hmm. There's just not enough hours in the day. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice if something like that could go on the loader. So yeah, they, they be make them. and then the loader just right. could go along and chew it up. Use that. Yeah, because I saw up. someone using that on, on a video and it, it was a mulching, it looks like a disc harrow that hangs off the side. You, like instead of the grader blade, you put this down into the ditch and it looks like a harrow and it just spins this stuff up into the road separated the gravel from the green stuff and then you, if you got too oh, much green wild. stuff you can scoop up the green stuff it leaves the gravel huh. i'll look it up I'll, i didn't get that okay. far but yeah i never never heard of a tool like that i didn't know it either i was looking at what the heck is that it's, yeah. oh it's a ditch Why recovery the old grader and put that on it <laughs> <laughs> it's probably it's not worth much actually, for trade it might, might not attach to the old grader might not knows. attach <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah okay yeah so you'll pass this along no i will reason. pass it on yeah i'll, I'll share it with grizz Tomorrow, um, so we've got, and it's not intended to be right. It just that's and what I, need to have done. And I'll share it with Greg when he's back next week. Yeah, it's just something for him to think about while he's going down mm -hmm. the road. <laughs> right. Maybe I should make one more pass, or maybe who yeah. knows? Yeah. What's really important when they're you know at some point they got to mix all that material in. Right. That's the tough stuff. Is well, what I know takes like, a lot of time when they when they're doing the summer maintenance. One thing that um, I like I'm remembering from last summer. The Greg Parkers would be in the bucket loader and he would be scraping up the berms, especially if there's a lot of grass and sod right. that's it's kind of floating. You got to cart it off, yeah. Carting, and then loading it into a truck and the part-timer would be hauling it away and then um, Grizz would come afterwards with the grader where, you know, where they the kind of, yeah. yeah, they could clean it. They'd and clean it out first. Yeah. And, then and now, you know, with the stones, you know, like Valley Lake Road, um, the part that's eroded really badly, that was something um, that had been ditched and stoned a few years ago before the um, you know the municipal roads general permit standards were put into effect. You know um, Harry knew what they were coming because they'd been talking about it for mm -hmm. two or three years, and so any ditching that they were doing, he was yeah, doing, was doing it to, to the standards. standards. Yeah. And that ditch is now you know that lower section is full of gravel. Yeah, what do you do? It's, yeah, it's yeah. like ruined stone. Yeah, the section above um, that they did a couple of years ago, that's fine. Um, and that's where it washed out on the Kirk's lawn, right? That was that was from the April 20th yeah, flood. What, hap see. what happened then was that the snowbank and the ice were basically, you know, the water couldn't Filling get to the, the ditch. Right. So the water just ran right down the road yeah. and gullied it out really good. And of course, you know, Kirk's lawn, right where the you know, water likes to go straight, and here's... Did they finally the get that cleaned up so he was um, happy? Uh, well, it's cleaned up, but who knows? He's not happy. Okay. He's never happy. No. He's never happy. <laughs> so I, I won't go... I'm Put a, it here, leave it here. I'll share that for later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, but it's all cleaned up. It's been cleaned up. Is that part of the being in compliance in 20 years or whatever that the state said? Yeah. The ditches on the side of the road, we have to be in compliance. Yeah, so that's going to make a real issue because the stone is going to be so expensive. Because right. you know, fix is dig all the stone out and either screen it yeah. or throw it away. And screening requires a screen with water. That's you what you wash it all. It makes it it's going to be a huge right, expense. Foster Hill Road now, which was ditched quite a few years ago now, and, but then lined with stone. That's totally filled with. Right, so it's a. I, it's see, I, you got to do it over yeah. and over. Right, yeah. So Except with a two-man crew, even with subs, it makes it difficult. Because in the old days, you just grit, you roll that ditch in with the grader and mm -hmm. move yeah. on. Yeah. It, you know, and another problem, you know, with hyper seeding, with put getting grass in there. What if you can get grass to take? That's great. But you know, like on Valley Lake Road, that bank that they ditched, um, they had that kind of burlap sacking cloth. Right. Try to hold the bank. It's a part of the road that never gets any sun. It's, yeah, it's, it's a forest grows. floor. It's probably pretty acidic. Grass doesn't grow there. Nope. Plus, plus the bank is pretty steep. Uh, yeah. So you know, what do you get to take root in there to, um, to yeah. hold the bank? Yeah, you just fight. And yeah. So regulations. <laughs> right. yeah. It might be worth. You know, I should maybe call um, Jim Ryan is the person that's kind of overseeing this whole roads thing, and um, you know, because these are problems. Bring them in and say, can you tell us what we're supposed what to we're do supposed with to this do with this. our two-man road crew and right. Our minimum yeah, that's budget. it. You know, it's you know these standards are great, mm -hmm. but you know for big departments with eight, ten guys, but right. with two man crew, yeah, we just can't. We don't, don't have, have the time. a screen. We don't. I mean, to, to wash that stone, you need a basically a wash plant. 
Yeah. I'm going to bring in something to dump it in. Well, you got to take the stone Pour too. water on it and the stones yeah. will come out clean and the yeah. sand and then, but you need a pump, you need hoses, you need a whole wash plant. To clean that's that stuff. Every year you're going to have Process to clean that it. ditch out. We don't have enough time yeah. in the year to do that. Or the stuff to do it with. Yeah. Your other sure. choice is dig it up, throw the stone over the bank. Right. Yeah. And then put By the way the old timers did it, always worked. Yeah. The ditches were open, mm -hmm. they were grass, the mm -hmm. water ran. Mm -hmm. So maybe see. having them come and say, we did what you said, or they'll yeah. show us where we didn't do it right, maybe, I don't know. Right. And uh, This doesn't work you for guys us. Show yeah. us what, tell me what you want us to do, because we want to meet the standard, but mm -hmm. now over here our road is washing out because yeah. our ditch is full, and we can't clean it. We have no way to clean it and yeah. put stone back in it. The upper part of Foster Hill, which was done last year, to the, that was the grants and aid with the municipal roads general permit. That looks okay right at the moment. Yeah. And it's probably some of the areas it will. We won't yeah. have a lot of trouble. Where you have Near a the lot top of, might be okay because you're not getting yeah, it's as right. much it's material. The top, it's the top it's half. And tough areas course, you're going to have. They yeah. didn't, you know, ran out of time to go further. Plus there are t two segments of that road that are hydrologically connected. So that's the town's coffers that pay for that. And yeah. then further down it is connected. What, now why they con consider two this sections, is, this two is sections not connected but the two sections below it are connected, you know, and the water's coming from, from the above. top. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but, um, I don't, I don't but, ask. That's engineering stuff. Yeah, that yeah. Well, it, the two sections below actually directly run into a stream by like Gary Ewens, so yeah. that's how, probably how we do it. But, you know, most of it's done from aerial satellite um, yeah. maps. But, but anyway, yeah, so I'll, I'll just, pass this along. I'll and then pass we can talk along. to Greg next time he comes to the. Yeah, we could meeting. talk more about I'll, I'll, um there's a lot of this, I just want them to mm -hmm. say this is how we want to yep. address this, but you need to address it. All those things have to be addressed some way. Yeah, yeah. And if and it's a longer term fix, it needs a plan. Mm -hmm. You know, in my opinion, that's kind of a Greg spot. Yeah, okay. Because we'll keep having the problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of these ditch issues will be resolved with, right. with the correct yep. road profiles. Yep. Some of them, not all some, of them. Not yeah. all of them. Yeah. There's lots of places you're not going to get a ditch. You know, we got a lot of water around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, and we have a lot of steep hills. We got lots of steep down. hills. It's a very bad company. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Rush Petter 101. Okay, so um, this is something that um, Greg, actually both Gregs have been thinking about for time and every now and then they'll find something um, online. I think they, they I think they saw this device at um, the, the road show or something, but um, what, you know, the deal with the mower is that um, one year we rent it for a week with, and basically we rent it for 40 hours. They have a clock on the thing. So we have it for a week. It cost us $3,200. Yeah. And then the next year we rent it for two weeks so we can do a second pass, costs us $6,400 or whatever. So we're spending $9,000 every two years, let's say, yeah, nine thousand, roughly $9,000 on, on the rental part of it. Um, so what we were, you know, one thought that I've had is that um, if we were to purchase something like this and we could work out a uh, loan arrangement, and I'm thinking with the Union Bank, I, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to Brandy at all about this, where our payments were basically what we're paying every year to rent a tractor you know, we could have this tool, it hooks on to, it's made especially for CAT, for the bucket loader that we have. Mm -hmm. It's an attachment. Um, it's a flail, basically a flail chopper. It can do both mowing and brush cutting. Yeah. Um, and we would have this tool that we could use whenever we wanted to during the summer, rather than the one week that we, you know, yeah. registered for. Um, we could work on it. Could, could be used to to cut back the brush. Um, the bottom picture is the thing extended out, kind yeah, of reaching out, reaching out. Um, the only thing that you know, I, this may be your super, and it may save us money in the long run. It's last year when they did their brush cutting mm -hmm. for their rental. It looked horrendous. Right. This they is did a mulcher job. Yep. So, so whether if if that's just our guys or if that's the equipment. That's, it just needs to be a better job. So I went and watched the video on this. This thing will mulch because we have a ton of the uh, stuff hanging that this right. could get. My question for this, because I agree with Brian, whatever yeah. we do, 
Mm -hmm. You got two things you got to get to do: not pissing off all the neighbors, right. cutting their bushes. Yeah. Number two, whatever's done afterwards, it can't be in the ditch. Right. And it can't be in the road. Yeah, they got to clean it afterwards too. So right? they haven't. Yeah. But like, we were seeing, you know, trees. Oh yeah. Half Whenever they had last year, it, it, it looks awful. And yeah. this yeah. would basically chip. I think yes, pretty much most mulch. Yeah. So okay. my question with is this company would they give us a uh, demo or a month lease or something to try one out? There's probably a video. We of it. There is a video, and um, I've seen the video. Yeah, okay, it's a pretty I impressive. I think yeah. does it does it have the video connection? You should on? watch the video. They're pretty impressive. So my question yeah. would be: Would this company give us a lease before you buy? Try before you buy type thing. Um, we can. It's still all being researched. We could. Request you know, sometimes that. this stuff is. I, I. I. I know. My father lives in uh, Charleston, Brownington, and I know they mm -hmm. use a piece of equipment like this, mm -hmm. and it works very well to keep the road edges back. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if they give you a try, you know, thirty day trial or something, and with the intent to purchase type thing, you can try it out and see mm -hmm. potentially. Before yeah. you bought it, and then go, geez, this didn't work, or whatever. You know, I know it. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be places that have got this around. Well, that's that's the other thing that we haven't found out yet. Um, but we, we could, could go check out. Because I'm yeah. not opposed to it on mm -hmm. the face of it. It's just I'm like Brian. It's just it's expensive, and if it yeah. keep the edges cut back routinely and keep the ditches clear and yeah, keep it clean, not a mess. I'm good with it. It's yeah. just so. Um, we could see if they would be w willing to allow us to try it you out. Can and then we throw it out there because sometimes they'll give you an expensive piece of like great. The trouble with trying it out is it's probably going to cost us money to get it attached to our. Who knows? Machine. Yeah, we'll find yeah. out. Yeah. There, there's a joystick that has to be placed inside right, right. the cab. So it may not be and, something they do, but yeah, it'd yeah. be tough to and do. And the hydraulic but we could ask. would have to. Yeah. Yes, but we could. Um, what Greg was going to try to do is find out if there are other towns that have this that are Anybody? using it, and so that we could um, go look at it. Go look at it. Um, talk to the road crew that's using it. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he's right. You know, you could use this any time of the right. year. Right. Yeah, I think it would do a lot better job than a mower because the one I saw. Yeah. You know, you could make Especially like for the brush. using. I walk along County Road a lot. And there's places that it's just shrubs and nastiness, and this thing would just go right through there. And, Two passes. Then they could get in there with the machine and pull all that gravel back out where the mm -hmm. ditch used to be. Right. For example, because part of our ditch maintenance problem we're going to be running into is the brushes in the way first. Right. Yeah. This some of what I'm asking there is not going to be easy mm -hmm. fixing. Now, does this blow the chips into a bag? Of no, some it just leaves just, them right on the ground. Them, them just on the ground. Okay. You, they have a picture guy taking a whole tree and just mulching yeah. it right into. Yeah. 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 I know Skip and I took a ride last year after they got done, and there was. Trees yeah. half snapped it, off and it just it looked terrible. It looks yeah. awful, yeah. It looks awful. That's what people yeah. complain about. The, yeah. the, every year where there's the two year, the two week yeah. second pass, it just yeah. it does look awful. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if we can yeah. do this and keep it maintained. Definitely are behind on the brush cutting. Yeah. yeah. And I think we could finance this um, through the union through bank. The, yeah. Through the union bank and but not adding anything to the budget, we would just be we wouldn't be Expending for the rental of this. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could use that. Yeah. It's basically forty-five hundred dollars a year yeah. mm -hmm. that we're yeah. spending um, for the, to rent the tractor for. Um, yeah. So if we could finance it so that we're making a payment of like forty-five hundred dollars. I mean, forty-five hundred dollars a year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not against it either. Not, you know, I think that maybe in the long run, once we get it here and get to using it, and can use it. Eventually, more you're going to get more caught up in it. It's going to be right. shocking. What you're going to do at some places, yeah. you're going to hear complaining initially. I know and something like this. We don't use the loader every day in the summer. No, you can throw a sub in it. You could just throw a sub on there yeah. and head out and do a bunch of cut. Train one to, to yeah. mow good. Rainy day project. Rainy day you project. Can add yeah. In the rain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. And we'll point. find out. You know, again, I'd ask the two questions. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, it, would if they give us a demo out. potentially? Yeah. And if not. We can look at it the next day. Yeah, or let us know what other towns might have this right. if we could go look at theirs even if we had to. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll continue. I'm in favor of anything that'll get the thing caught up in. Right. Okay. Yeah, because it is. It's tough for the two weeks a year or one week a year, whichever we get it for. It is, yeah. And they're in a hurry to do it because yeah. they got it for a short time frame and they do a Friday easy job. Five miles yeah. of the road left. Yeah. And it's, yeah. not, it's not like you have it. You know, you're basically restricted to the 40 hours too. Yeah. It's not like right. They go by the hour, not by the. Yeah, no. There, there's a there's a course, there's, there's some kind of there's some kind of meter in that thing. That, of course uh, there is. <laughs> yeah. 40 hours is is it. Yeah. 
So, okay, well, we'll um, it's not shockingly expensive. That's one ambulance yeah. stretcher. Okay. Believe me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so <laughs> relative to cost. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. We've got our loader is big enough for this. It is. It is. Yeah. This okay. is this this particular tool is um, made for this loader, and yeah. it's made especially for the cat loader. The sure yeah. bucket comes off that easy. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Just a flip, just of, a the flip of the switch. Perfect. Yep. yep. Yeah, this would be super. And I think you just latch into this, there might be a couple of connections. Yep. So hydraulic yeah, hydraulic connections and yeah, yeah, electrical connection. So you could drop it and get out of it pretty yep. quick. It would have its own joystick in the cab. Um, yeah. So, okay, well, we'll look into this a little further and see. Yeah, I'm not, well, I mean, anything it's going to, I was going to look up this mulching thing and see what kind of money uh -huh. I'm talking for that because that yeah. might help their lives. I looked at it, wow, because what it did is it separated the gravel out of the organic mm -hmm. material and if mm -hmm. you, you could just scoop up all you had was organic material yeah. didn't you left the gravel yeah, yeah. if that's yeah. working that and those hooked right on the grader they made one that hooked on the, mm -hmm. on the loader yeah okay. but i'll look into it right okay so um do we want to switch over to paving stuff i have a, a paving thing too i'd like to show i want to talk about town cracking a lot paving, okay so if we're going to talk about paving yeah, oh, you no, saw that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, that's why. That's why I brought it. My up. guy who's supposed to come has a, He's out of state. Okay. Again, I, I'm at the point where. Have you guys been to the town parking lot? Yep. That's, yep. It's actually getting dangerous. So I think mm -hmm. we're going to have to do something. Right. right. Okay. So my, I would suggest we. I don't have a template RFP. I have the template RFP for the lower part of the Cabot Road. The, um, of course, the deal with that is, is that it was a special mix of. Right, which Cat, um, that's why I was hoping to get a paving guy in, you know, maybe yeah. by the next meeting this guy will have. Okay. Do we don't need the special mix on their side or do we? I don't think, well, I don't think we do. I mean, what's there now looks like it was typical driveway, you know. Yeah, it was just, and there's two or three layers, but what happened, the water got under it. Yeah. yeah. Now it's, it's just, just oh my God, there's yeah. holes yeah. in there. Since, since the flooding, it's it definitely tore the heck out of it. Up pretty bad. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't spend any money fixing it yet. Yeah, yeah so yeah. if you're saying that I can have maybe Chuck go over there with his excavator and do some cleaning out of that brook. I will let Chris know that. Well, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, you know, Jaron Borg did give us permission. Okay, up to, to 10 yards, that's all you're going to get. Yeah, 10, okay. 10 cubic yards, I think is yep, what he said. That's a lot. That's um, a lot, yeah. Yep. And it's never going to be measured once it's out. Right. Do you want it, if you if we took it out of there, do you want it any place particular in the town or just Wherever we well, I guess, I guess check in with the road crew on that. They Maybe might have an know. idea. I mean, we could fill in the hole at the store with a little bit. What of I read was we're eventually going to dig our site out over there by yes. our house. And uh, oh, okay. For what I've discovered is you need to put it in an upland, non-wetland area where it won't be subject to right. you know, you know, wetland issues, or you're not. It's not going to erode into some right. stream. So wherever we right. put it, it, just has to go. There's no special permit needed for the dumping of it. It's just mm -hmm. just dirt and rocks. We just you can't dump it in a stream. You can't be in the mm -hmm. wetland, things like right. that. Yeah. From what I found out. Yeah. Like you know, sometimes the town will dump um, right off the uh, the parking area where the old. Um, I think there was, it looks like there was an old gravel pit there at one point down over the bank. Parking area for the town garage. Where the town garage. Is, yeah. and they've been hauling it up to. Uh, this new house at the bottom of Two Blake Hill Road. Okay. Yep. Tim said they've been hauling the material up here. Yeah. 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 People are always yeah. requesting fill, so yeah. we know they're. Because we're, we're working on yeah. where we're going to take our material when we dig yeah. it out. So yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I had to, I got a pit, I could dump it down back, but the shorter distance we have. Yeah, unless you have to truck it, we're in the yeah. same boat. The shorter distance yeah. trucking will cost you money. You get the excavator time, but the trucking is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if we were to pave the village, what you call the village square, um, right? I, I think I'm, that's a good term for that. I've been always yeah, trying. To I would call it. That's what the that's what the deed paperwork calls it. The okay, village square. Village square. The town square. Um, I would say it needs to be done right across the end of Valley Lake because that's busted up, and all the way around. Yeah, and I pretty I, much from the from the building that used to be the store over. Well, even the entrance. Um, maybe we could break that up. There's a, that's what I want to talk about. There's okay. a giant pothole. Oh, I know where, where the potholes always so come. Maybe maybe yeah. he can uh, patch that one mm -hmm. pothole because I know we're looking at paving Valley Lake Road. Yeah. But at the very least, from the edge of the store all the way down around the side, and I know yeah. there's potential to put that water thing in there. But I think for now we need to fix the pavement. Yeah. If if the pavement, hey Phoebe, if the pavement is um. This is what 
someone from the Regional Planning Commission told me is that there's pavement there and we have to break up the pavement to put in this uh, catch basin. They will fix that. Then part of the reimbursement would be for putting the pavement back. Fixing it. Yeah. So I, that's why I'm kind of going, and, and, and that we should just go ahead and do this. Right. Yeah. I was saying wait, but it's so bad. I mean, we're trying to drive right. fire trucks. I drove in the other day, bang, I thought I was going right through the windshield. Yeah, and I think yeah. when we had uh, the fellow from Pipe come to give us an estimate, it was Nineteen or twenty thousand yeah. dollars for the square. Yeah. And I think if we write the RFP, we're going to have to have them pull it up and regrade right. whatever they got to do and pay. Yeah, well, the boys said enough. they could go over there with the loader and tear all the paper. But do they have enough time? That's the issue right. that I'm concerned about. Well, the subs, I would think, should be able to do that. Yeah, well, we, could, we could ask them. Um, yeah. What I was going to ask you to do is to price out the removal separately. That right. we could. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what I do with expensive projects, I try to break it up so you could pick and choose. Yeah. We'll but it'd be, for provide. me, it'd be a great project for both subs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not object one in the loader. Just pick it's it up. a good learning experience for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Timmy okay. and Tim and Peter. Peter mm -hmm. both get them mm -hmm. up there. And so I'm willing to work on that RFP if you okay. can get it to me. I have a yeah, digital copy. Because what I'll do is when I get the coal. I can use whatever language the guy gives and just plunk it in there. Yeah. I've written long ones for fire trucks. I just haven't. I mean, if there's a okay. template that talks about because the things like the workman's comp and all that stuff. Okay. That so I, I have a very basic quote from um, a fellow from Pike that right. I can also send to you, and whoever you're talking to. I mean, what we're going to need to do. My company's just a parking lot paving a smaller okay. outfit. Okay. So I just that'll kind of so give that'll us probably rate. be a cheaper. Yeah. So what we can do then is we'll because we have it's more than our what is it two thousand dollars. For having to go out to bid, uh, it has to be over. If it's over eight thousand dollars, which this will be, it has to go yeah. out to bid. So that's what they will put it out to all these different people yeah. and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a lot of little companies around. It yeah. might be hungry. Yeah. From one thousand to eight thousand, yeah. we, what we're required to do in the procurement policy is get three um, quotes. Quotes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, pretty sure we're gonna be over the eight thousand. We are. There's we will yeah. be. Yeah, we will be. But when the guy comes, I was gonna ask him about just patching the end of Valley Lake for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, yeah. Well, there's a big pothole there that we should patch. As now, we if we do the center square, you plan on going up to up to your small annex building, go further, or up to the well, school? that's a different issue. I was, I, I think not, unless we, it's our choice. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not a lot more. It'd probably be cheaper to do it in concert with we, this but we, we got two quotes from pike for one for the village square and one for you the, sent us i have the bottom of valley lake road yeah. from basically from the school down to route 14 and they were both you know one was nineteen thousand, the other was twenty thousand. so we're looking no, at they're both about the same. Within our yeah. huh, possibility so forty thousand yeah. um, dollars so is there you know so we could and the um and i don't think the only thing that might, you know, with the other, there's another catch basin that's proposed for kind of right behind the annex building. And then um, then off the school parking lot, there will be that kind of wetland collecting basin, um, which wouldn't really impact anything on the road except for heavy equipment going in and out. So um, well, I wonder how far up we could pay without impacting that basin thing. Just I think the um, town crew dug the road down. We would, we would probably want to stop it right at the annex building. Um, at the end of it? Where, the you know the little drive that goes kind of behind over to the skating rink? Yeah, I yeah. wonder if we could sneak it just up to the far end, because those elevations aren't going to change much. No. Because I'd really like to, regardless of this plan we're working on with the fire department, mm -hmm. keep us in that annex. It would be nice to fix that. Right. We had a huge trouble. Well, I'll look at it and see. Okay. Because we're going to lower that road anyways, because it's, you right. say, it's, it's quite a bit higher. Yeah. So it'd be a nice. I'll work to... on this problem. Like, okay. All right. Come up with something. It may not be by the next meeting because no, my yeah, problem is getting to, actual people to come. So I have been working on it. It's just a matter of getting someone to yeah. come. And I started it, looking for patching people, and then it. it grew. Yeah. And you know, it it may be too late. Yeah. yeah. Maybe too late. Don't to, to get anybody to. Yeah. To well, bed. I think somebody might be. Able somebody. To, you're, yeah, you're some right. of the smaller. Right. You know, smaller. Yeah, it's something they're going to buzz in, especially if we've got got all the pavement up. They're going right. to come in and spend a day, two days. Yeah, because they just got to make sure it's compacted and, yeah. and smooth and yeah. just regrade it. And we want them to fix that little, there was a strip that the water ran down through. Because a lot, there's not much dirt there most of the year. You mean the swale? The yeah, there's a little swale. I was just going to have them fix that for now and then when right. someday we'll do the other thing yeah. potentially and, and uh, that happens. And, yeah. 
mm -hmm. kind of solve that problem. I was going to see if they could take a little bit of the, it's really too steep to plow. It doesn't need to be. Oh, right, yeah. To have a, yeah. It doesn't need to be quite right. as It doesn't need to be quite as abrupt. I mean, that really, so the plow rides and then that fills up with. Yeah. I think it was a good idea. After between the road and your and Yeah, go around the side of the building. Look at the yeah. post office come down, and there's a gully. You oh, see where the plow is. Between the post office yeah. and the fire. It takes right in. It, just, it yeah. was a good idea. I think it's just a little too much. Yeah, yeah. 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 so we could yeah. Let's grab yeah, just bring it up just a little bit. And I think they're going to do that with that other thing, anyways. They'd probably mm -hmm. bring that up so the water goes in there new. Yeah, I don't know quite how that works. I don't know. Either. If you want to see one right at the Route yeah, 14 Route bridge, is that is a good one. Yeah, that's what they want to do. The new bridge in East Montpelier? That's one of those systems. It's got stone. Well, you can see, water goes around. Yeah, see the line. It's too bad we didn't get to see it put in to see what yeah, it looks like a big septic tank. Yeah, it does exactly like it's what it looks like. And then you can see yeah. where they did stone so excess water. My concern with those things is how much is it going to be to clean them every year? Okay. Particularly yeah. like the village, I don't think would be a huge one, but the all that dirt coming down from, from that school. Valley Lake, if that fills well, up mo every most, six months. Yeah, most of that should be, most of that is channeled on a ditch on the Hopefully other side we, of the road. Yeah, we'll get it and then fixed. it runs and it go into the school parking lot thing, which will, should catch the bulk of what's coming down Valley Lake Road, according to the So the, anyway, I'll work theory. on that. Okay. And, uh, right. Again, part of this, whether we pave it up, we don't need to get them in. Last year, right. we just tickled it. We, we need right. to dig that road down. Right. It was a mess again this year. and, and uh, even if we dig it down and then it comes back up up above just to get our road low enough where the water will go by. At the annex building we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that yeah. guardrail they got to fix too. Uh -huh. It got tore up with the bucket loader. Oh, okay. If you look, I, I haven't. It's given us we're having a hard time getting in there to hit that oh, hydro because okay. the guard, guardrail it's end is around. around. Okay. Greg knows about it, but it's again, yeah. it's not to me. It's not super high on the list, but it really yeah. needs to get fixed this yeah. summer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see see what this person that you're talking to. I will find out if I get getting people to come nowadays. Every company is stretched thin with salespeople. Right. So yeah. you want I want to spend a hundred thousand dollars. Can you please show up? <laughs> yeah. Nobody comes. Yeah. Another paving thought that I've had, um, and it, I think what I would, I mean, I'm getting concerned a little bit about this stretch of paving here, and that there are quite a few cracks in it now. Um, Sorry, sealing it. Yeah, a couple of years ago, um, I went, well, it was the summer before last, I went to the road show and there's this company that um, basically will cover the whole road. They basically, instead of... Sealer? Yeah, instead of sealing the cracks, they just cover the whole thing. Um, and it seemed like a great idea. Um, so I'd kind of like to see if they can come and take a look at the hill here um, and just... Anything that could save it because we don't have to yeah, redo it. Rough idea of how much it should yeah. cost. I thought I would maybe, um, maybe get Shauna or somebody from VTrans to just say, okay, yeah, this this should we should deal with this soon because uh, I don't I don't know much about pavement. Um, yeah, wash out again up near the top. Yeah, okay. that, I think we would just fill that in with some stone. Stone again. Yeah, that, I know the boys were talking about it this morning. Yeah. I don't know if they were going to get to it today or not. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a scary looking ditch, right? It, it is. Yeah. Yep. It's, they just fixed it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, th I thought if you, if you guys thought this would be worth uh, looking into, I'll, I'll give a call is. and yep, yeah, I would. I'll see, see if we can get this guy to come. Yeah. Okay, all right, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, and then, um, let's see, as for other road stuff. Oh, I forgot to bring my notes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> trying to see if I forgot anything. Yeah. I'm trying to think of. You know, we were talking about the, the last Thursday and the flooding. We mentioned the Cabot Road. Um, you know, I'm going to, there might be a response from Shauna, but um, we should, I'm hoping that we'll hear something from them soon about so. I'll, I'll basically send an email at least once a week to, yeah. to, try, to um, try to get a response on that. Um, so as uh, Laura mentioned, Herrick's Cove Road did get fixed. Um, what else do I have on my list? And we got to thank you from the people down there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's that's awesome. I like that. Yeah, I appreciate it. They were, they were delighted. Ideas, so. yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I know we have um, sent in a letter of intent for another round of the Grants and A general permit um, yeah. thing. So, and we're planning on working on the lower part of Valley Lake Road that's in such rough shape right now. Um, so within the next week or so, probably after Greg Parkhurst gets back from his vacation, um, 
Dan Curry or someone from the Regional Planning Commission will come out and look at it with us. Um, so that would be from the school parking lot down? To no, the this will be on the other, the western side of the hill of Valley Lake Road. The bad, where yeah. Kirk's is? Yeah, yeah um, there's this upper part um, where it starts dropping down toward Kirk Lance um, that was done two summers ago. And then that bad curve, it kind of ended right at that bad curve. So from the bad curve down to Kirk's, um, that whole section of road, there are three hydrologically connected segments. You know, one side drops right off to the brook, and the other side is basically the what can you side do? of the hill. Well, that's, that's what I'm waiting, really waiting to hear. It looks <laughs> awful. Yeah, you guys tell me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some Not a lot of options down through there. There isn't. Um, but, I, you know, co of course, because of the erosion concern, what they're going to be concerned about is, you know, you can't slope it to where the brook is. Right. Um, it's so it's got to slope side. to that ditch. So that whole, the ditch down, which is now, f was ditched and stoned once, is full of road gravel and... Um, and then there is a culvert that catches it pretty much towards the bottom, which um, did plug up from road, um, you know, um, and that's I think part of what happened to Kirk Glass. And then there is a turnout just below that culvert, um, which Greg yeah. has cleared out some. And then you know I don't know now if that's an issue because that's Kirk Glass property. Um, whether Kirk is making an issue or not. Um, but that turnout has been... Because there's forever. no choices there, where yeah, it's, it's no water's got to go downhill right. and it's yeah. got to yeah. get kicked yeah, off on the same, problem. Yeah, same problem over to the, the turn on Greenwood, the driveway. Right. If you, where the water used to turn is someone's driveway, so they've raised it up, that's focusing all the water down the yeah. hill. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no same. options. We have a few the places like The that. system now on Valley Lake Road is that it does run down pretty much in the ditch, pretty much down that stretch of downhill, and there's a culvert. Um, that catches it, goes under the road. Is it is it possible when that guy's come to come look at the Greenwood County Road intersection? That's really bad. It washes out every single time we yeah. rain. Right on the sharp so corner. You're talking it's about starting at Poplar Road. That just it washes out. It runs across in two or three places. I know where Poplar Road now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bad. Your water comes out of there, and it's 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 rutted on both right. sides. And they come and grade it. They just grade it like it's all. And it washes gone right. again. And, and it go down on Bob Lord's beach, or it's Kevin Lord's beach now. Yeah. And uh, it's yeah. all down there, and it's in the lake. It's kind of kind of looking like now he's getting free driveway gravel down to his. <laughs> <laughs> well, they keep yeah. And it, well, his thing is all washed out again, and it's it's all it's the same thing we've got at Valley Lake on the bay. It's all this just this big thing. All the water's just coming from three mm -hmm. angles and all running yeah. down there. And, Again, I would really need some engineer to tell There's, us. I know Greg, Greg Parkers has talked about that spot because there's no place to get it off the road the other way either. Right, it's up That's against the, the bank and there's a culvert there, but I think it's too high. Yeah. The only thing I can think of to do is you're going to have to tip the road toward the bank, run it on the inside and lower that culvert. Right. The, one of the problems over time is that intersection keeps widening out, widening out, right. widening out. and That's something else I don't know how to... Fixed. Well, I know that was, I know Greg Parkers was trying to address that. With the sticks, but even on the lake side, they keep, going that keeps up. moving over and over. Uh -huh. yeah. Which, and every time it does the, the widening, the problem gets worse, because we have no mm. place to run the water. Right, yeah. yeah. So I don't know how you make it smaller again. It's to, just another one of those places. you got, it mm -hmm. runs downhill. Yeah, it's the, got, the, yeah, the pond is right there. And there's yeah, ledges no and the driveways, down. there's just no place to put it. And I yeah, think yeah. there are some fixes, just like the backside, so maybe Mm -hmm. That guy could come and look at both. Yeah, maybe when, 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 if Dan is here, if it is Dan that comes, and hopefully it will be. Because uh, that's a real problem we area. Look it, at that. It's, uh, it's just washed right out. You can't even. Yeah. It's a big rut right across the road again, yeah. and over the bank's gone. And, yeah. And if you come back and put it, I mean, it does it with just a relatively gentle rain now. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's, well, maybe there's some time in the near future that I you could show it to me. Sure. Yeah. So just let when, me know. I'm and, around. And I can let him know. Um, this week's tough, but after this, yeah, it, it will be better. Um, it probably will happen sometime after the fourth. I That's fine. Yep. Just like this yeah. yeah. It's been going on for. It's been as I've just watched over time. You know, the first they fixed that pop road, then yep. they moved in and fixed the driveway where mm -hmm. it used to just be able to send the water right over the edge. Now I see why they don't want it done because it washes the driveway. And you know, out. Dr driveways are causing a problem. Um, yeah. That's another, and that's a whole another kind of hornet's nest, you know. Yep, and giving it, but then again, this one didn't need a driveway permit because it already was a driveway there, right, it was yeah. a camp. Yeah. yeah, I know they fixed um, Scribner Hill Road and there's a long drive, I, you know, driving, checking the roads on Friday, there was a long driveway there that you could see where the sides of the driveway were, you know, eroded and then all that water ran into the town road and um, really 
um, hollowed out the ditch on the side of the road, um, so you know, you know, it's and there are, I know there are roads along um, Cranberry Meadow Road and Dog Pond Road where there are driveways that constantly run into the road. In the winter time, it's water that runs in and then turns to ice, and um, so we're getting such rain events lately. Right. It's awful. Yeah, yeah, and, it's awful. Awful. Yeah. and I think that's what we should probably anticipate. We're going to have to just deal yeah. with this because it's not changing. I don't see it changing. Right. So. Yeah. Laura, could you flip on the lights? I'm um, sitting here in the dark. Getting a little darker. Yeah. There. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so yeah, I'll try to have, maybe get Dan over to yeah. look at that one. Or if he's yeah. around, you know, if they're, yeah. Just, okay, or I can let you know when he's, when he's coming up. and yep. yeah. Do my best. Okay. Um, so I can't think of anything else um, for the road, town highway. Um, I had. I can't find my agenda, but I had a couple other things written on the back of it. Uh, it's, I always, this always happens. Here it is. Okay. Um, yep, no, I got them. Um, I got everything that I had too much time on the list. Um, at some point, somebody's supposed to come in. He said he was coming in June, but I don't think he's come to do the um, cathode ray test on our underground storage okay. tank. Uh, that's been scheduled. Um, Oh really? Do that every year? Or? No, it's uh, re I think it's required every uh, three years or every five years. But we were say, do I was thinking that they were did something to it last year over there. Yeah, last year um, we were required to put in a um, overflow warning system. Ah. Um, so yeah, which w it's like a whistle, a vent pipe thing. You know, we talk once in a while about just putting it above ground in a yep. bunker. Yeah, we. That would save us a lot of. It would save us a lot of stuff. grief. Yeah. Yeah. We um, looked into that pretty seriously um, three or th maybe three years ago, um, and um, it wouldn't have cost a lot of money to get it out of the ground. And then what would happen is you'd have above ground tank. They wouldn't have to do the once a week um, test. Right. Yeah. Test. You um, bought a double wall fire guard tank. You could don't even yeah. need a berm for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and it would be basically the whoever we contracted for the fuel that would be doing all that. Right. Yeah, they would own the tank essentially. Yeah, they would, so they would monitor it. Um, yeah, I heard at one time somebody offered to put one a tank above ground tank over there yeah. for us, no cost. Yeah, Harry Harry had looked into that. Yeah, um, yeah, um, and I guess we just decided well the tanks. Fairly new. There's no issues with it. Um, you know, How so long has the tank been in the ground? That one. I can't tell you, but not that long. Um, I don't. I could. I think there are some records. There's a big envelope in the mm -hmm. hanging by the door. I think there is a record of when that went in the ground. But, um, sure. You know, but it's the cathode ray test. There's. It is a double wall tank, and what it does is it. It somehow they're sending electricity through the tank itself. Right. And the, whatever the, the reading will tell them if it's starting to deteriorate. Yeah. So you know when when it starts showing deterioration, then obviously it would be good yeah. to. Yeah. It probably will last forever. Yeah. And, I, and you know, and I might have it's somewhere. Right there. Yeah. I know Skip looked into the cost for removing the tank. Um, I might have that somewhere in my in my files. I can look at that. But it's probably more expensive than you'd imagine. It was. Everything yeah. Is. Yeah, it, it was an it was an expense, um, but um, it wasn't shockingly high, um, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. But I can't, I had, don't even have a figure in my memory for what it was. But. Or get rid of it completely. What do you need it for the equipment? We we use the cards. Right? Uh -huh. We have Bright Express cards, so okay. we don't even get people. We just buy it wherever. Wherever you need and it. And what happens is each truck has a card, and every driver has a code, so mm -hmm. you know who. Every vehicle, how much fuel it used, uh -huh. put the fuel yeah. in it when they put it in. Mm -hmm. The problem that wouldn't help you with your graders and your yeah. no. I was, yeah. I, was, I was shooting my. What's that? You're paying retail. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we're saving quite a lot of money on yeah. retail. Yeah. We don't there. pay the tax though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and it saves all your dealing with the tank business, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and everything else is good with the, the tank. Um, we've done all of our, our testing and recording and stuff, uh -huh. so it should be good. Um, yeah, I can't think of any anything else as far as the town highway stuff. Um, there is a Cooper's Hawk nest on that backside of Valley Lake Road. 
right, on, right above that sharp corner. Oh, okay. So there's a nest with babies in oh, it. Oh, cool. So yep. you can see it if you look up. All right, I'll, I'll look for it when I... If they start doing too much right there, that might scare her off right away. Well, yeah, they probably by the time they get to it, they'll, Hopefully they'll, they'll be, be fledged. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be... You know, we haven't even looked at it yet, and that's usually kind of a late summer fall project. Um, so, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, and I would imagine that they'll probably be fledged in another probably less than a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it should be good. Anything else? Um, no. Shall I make a motion that we adjourn? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're done. Uh, well, that's a quick 735. One.